Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, in part A, we're asked how is the number E defined? Here, it's just looking for the value of E, which will come into play with part B. And E is just 2.71828. And it keeps going on, but we don't need the rest. Just the first couple of decimal places will do. Now, using a calculator to estimate the value of the limits of as h approaches 0 of 2.7 to the h minus 1 over h and 2.8 to the h minus 1 over h. You probably see this, this is slightly underneath e and slightly over e. If you plug this in of 2.7, if you calculate this, you get 0 0.99. If you calculate this, you get 1.03. Two, two decimal places, right? Obviously it'll be a little bit different than that, but it's gonna be very close to this. What can you conclude about the value of E? Well, you could say as the limit as H goes to zero of E, the H minus one over H equals one. This is basically saying, since this is the form of the derivative for, since this is, you wanna write E to the H minus E to the zero over H minus zero, right? This is basically saying the derivative of e to the x at zero, so e to the zero, the derivative of that is equal to one. Hopefully this was helpful. I know it might not be super clear that this is the limit of the derivative, but hopefully that is clear. This is saying that the derivative of e to the x at zero is equal to one. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.